bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm a mother, I'm a sinner, I'm a saint. And I'm not a singer, but I am Laurie F. Dean. And uh, is it just me, or are you up to examining the role of roles? That's a tricky question, and I had to really give it some thought as to what exactly I meant by that. And I'm not sure I'm totally clear, so uh, why don't we talk it out together? Anyway, I gave you a list of particular roles that I have played at one point in my life, and maybe still continue to play. I'd give credit to the lady who wrote the song, but to be honest, I can't remember her name, and I didn't Google it before I started this. But anyway, maybe I'll find it before the end of the video. Um, we give ourselves various roles, I believe, as we go through life, and it depends on where we are in life as to what those roles are, what age, what location, whether we're employed or unemployed, a whole variety of things. And we can wear many, many roles at many times in our life. What about the roles we give other people, too? And what about the roles that they cast us in? You've got a neighbor, but that neighbor is also perhaps a mother, a wife, a daughter, a postal worker, a cab driver, a snow shoveler, a teacher whole bunch of different hats that that person might wear. Sometimes the roles we give ourselves are not necessarily the roles that other people see us in and vice versa. And sometimes when we look at a particular person and we only know them in one circumstance, we only maybe see them in one role. For example, the fellow who fixes my car is my mechanic. Oh yeah, I gotta take the car to, see, to my mechanic, gotta take it into my mechanic. Well, he's a lot more than a mechanic, but to me, that's the role I cast him in. And it got me thinking about not only the roles that we give ourselves and the roles that we give people we know, but what about the roles we cast on people in our communities? And they're all going to be different depending on where we are in the world. But in some ways, we all have a particular role to play. Now all this came about because earlier today Kim was telling me of an experience that he had yesterday when he went into town to get some groceries and things. And instead of me telling you about it, I, I think I'll let him do that. You've met Kim a few times in some of the earlier videos, but uh, now you're going to get a chance to really meet him. So let me go grab him, make him sit down, and tell you his story. We'll be right back. <laughs> This town we live in is, uh, it's a small town, it's about 5,000 people, and it's a, it's a nice upscale town. It's a, it's a tourist town in the summertime, and it's real quiet in the winter. And we have two homeless guys that live in town. They're the only homeless people I've seen in town. You see them, you know, by the grocery store, and in the wintertime, I've seen them in the grocery store, basically, just to warm up a little bit. Um, uh, but yesterday, I was walking on the main street. It was a lovely day. It was a sunny day. And um, I came across one of these fellas, and he was lying down on the sidewalk in front of a store, not blocking the store or anything like that. He was lying down on the sidewalk, and he, he was not asleep, and he had not passed out. Um, he was just there, and uh, it, it just it stopped me because it was such an odd thing to see in this town. And I know that everybody in the town knows uh, about this man. They may not know him any better than me, but um, they, they, I, they just accept him as the homeless guy. And uh, he did not seem distressed. He was dressed plenty warm for the weather. And he had just, for some reason, decided to lay down there in the sun. It was a nice spot, but it was right on the sidewalk. And, um, and I wondered, I, I, I thought, what, why did he do that? And, and I, you know, I have no idea. I have no idea if he's mentally ill, uh, which is the case with a lot of homeless people, but or street people in any event. Uh, but um, uh, I, they just it popped into my head. Is this what is this his role? Is this what he offers the society? Is this what he um, is there to do? Is to make me think and anyone else about what it is that um, well, just about everything about ourselves, about why we're standing up and going shopping, and why he's laying on the street in a sunbeam. Um, it just it just raised the, raised the question. I thought, is that his role? Is that what he is here to do? The world's a stage, and perhaps that's his part. And um, and uh, that's it. That's my tale.
that story really got to me. It really got me thinking. And uh, so I pose the question to you. Is it just me or are you willing to consider the role of roles? The roles you play, the roles those closest to you play, the roles acquaintances play, and maybe the roles that people play just within your community, whether you know them well or not, whether you see them every so often or not. What are those roles? Why do we cast ourselves and others in roles? What does that do for our sense of self and our sense of community? Ooh, this is going to be a good conversation, I can tell. So please put your comments below and feel free to write as much as you want. And also hit the subscribe button above so that you'll know when more videos in the series are coming out. I'm Lori F. Dean and thanks for participating yet again. We'll catch you tomorrow. I'm a bear.